Hello, everyone. This is Latia for you coming today with another scripture from the Lord. We are in Luke chapter 6, verse 8, Romans chapter 9, verse 6, and Revelation chapter 13, verse 3. Let's go ahead and pray and we can get started. Thank you, Father God, for your word. Thank you for giving us hope in you, Lord God. We bind up every force of darkness right now. We cast it out into the chambers of hell in Jesus' name. We thank you that you rule, you reign in our lives, you rule and you reign in our mindsets. And we thank you that you give us understanding and wisdom. Lord God, help our minds to be like yours. Lord God, let us be one in mind with you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, you guys, Luke chapter six, verse eight, but he knew their thoughts and he said to the man with a withered hand, come and stand here. And he rose and stood there. All right. And so this was, of course, in the synagogue and it was on the Sabbath. And so, you know, they were waiting on Christ to to um, heal this man. Right. Because they wanted to conspire to kill Jesus. And so they and, and you know, he knew their thoughts. It says, but he knew their thoughts. Right. And so he knew the the implications of what he was about to do. And yet he stood for this man anyway. Isn't that so amazing how God will stand for us? Right. He'll keep us in the midst of a situation that even he knows as a human being in this situation that, you know, it's going to cost him his life. It's going to cost him, you know, everything. And he knows it and he died for us anyway, right? He healed him anyway in front of everybody, even though he knew that they were going to start conspiring against him. It says, but he knew their thoughts. And he said to the man with a withered hand, Come and stand here. And he rose and stood there. So he he brought him up in front of everyone, right? He he didn't just like tap him on the hand and heal him and walk away. He didn't just, you know, take him behind uh, somewhere and, and do what he had to do and make his hand hold. No, he wanted him to stand with him. So he stood with the man with the withered hand, right? And he healed him. And it says, and he rose and stood there. So he 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 was right beside Jesus. Jesus was standing with a man with a withered hand in front of the crowd who was daring him, daring him to heal him on the Sabbath in the synagogue, right? And so Christ did it anyway. Right. And and he stands with us anyway. In the in the midst of our sins, even while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Right. And so, you know, that's such a beautiful picture of the fact that God isn't scared of these people. Right. He he is he is God. And he is gonna Christ is the way that was made for us. That shows the love that God had for us, that he sent his son to stand with us. In the midst of our sin, in the midst of our dis-ease, right? He stands with us, right? And, and in the midst of the persecution that he received because he was doing this for us, he still stood with us. Thank you, Father God. And so let's look at this second verse, Romans chapter 9, verse 6. But it is not as though the word of God has failed, for not all who are descended from Israel belong to Israel. All right. And so this is, you know, Paul and he's talking about, remember, this is that same section where he talks about he'd rather be a cursed um, away from Christ um, than uh, he 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 didn't say he rather. He said, um, you know, if it was possible or something like that to that effect. But this is when he's mourning and he's in great distress for his brethren. Right. So this is this is that point where he's like, you know, talking about the fact that they, you know, that they are lost right now. Right. And so um, but yet these are the ones who are Abraham's children. Right. They're Abraham's seed. They are, um, you know, 
the chosen of the Lord, right? The, the nation that God chose. These are God's promised children. And yet, you know, they are turning away from Christ, right? They are missing him. And so he's saying here, but it is not as though the word of God has failed for not all who are descended from Israel belong to Israel. And so right there, he's just talking about the fact that everybody is in the sun, right? A child of the promise. And so, yes, they may by birth be, be children of, of, of blood, right? But not of the spirit of God, not of promise, right? Because if it were by blood, then Ishmael, and his seed would have been blessed too, right? It, there was a choosing, there was a a um a a choice that was made, right, for the seed of Abraham, and and it wasn't just by blood because if it was by blood, then everyone would be there. But here it is letting us know that it's not the blood that keeps it right; it's the promise. It's the promise of God, the elect, the chosen, right? Um, Esau, I hated. Jacob, I love. Esau, I hated, right? And so God knows who belongs to him, right? And, and it's not the ones that um, are just going to be claiming lineage that are going to stand, right? It is those who are under the promise, who are under this covenant, the seed of Abraham, and 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 so it says, but it is not as though the word of God has failed for not all who are descended from Israel belong to Israel. And so, you know, God, God wants his children with him, right? He knows who are his. Right. Just like when they were conspiring to kill him, he knew who belonged to him and who did not. Right. He knew um, that that he wanted to stand with us even while we were yet sinners. Right. This man wasn't jumping up and down professing that Jesus was Lord. And yet Christ stood with him. We don't know if he was a believer or not, but Christ stood with him right? God was still there for him. And, and we know that, you know, it is not by, it is, this is not just the blood that made them the sons of God, right? Just like those Pharisees, everyone was in the temple. So most likely most of them were um, of Jewish descent, right? But he knew who the sons were. He knew, he knew what he was going to do that day, regardless of, of whether or not everyone believed or people would hate or not, right? Because you, you need to be a child of the promise. You need to, you need to come under the covenant by the spirit. It's not just by the law, it's by the spirit, right? Because that man could have could have yanked away and said, hey, no, not on the Sabbath, right? And and chose that, you know, he, that this was, you know, in, in stating that basically he didn't believe, right? But yet he stood there, he received his healing, right? He received that healing. And, and you know, we have to trust in God, right? That his covenant is enough. He brought us to himself through Christ Jesus, right? He is, he is enough, right? He is God. He is the Lord. And we have to trust that he is the Lord and follow after him, right? It's not going to be by birth right it's not going to be by lack of relationship it's gonna it's not going to be by rules right it's going to be by relationship it's going to be by the spirit of the living God God knows who belong to him right and and actually Romans 9 actually talks more about that the elect right and so we we need to trust in him that he is enough he is our father he is the savior he is the Christ amen all right let's look at the third verse revelation chapter 13 verse 3 one of its heads seemed to have a mortal wound but its mortal wound was healed and the whole earth marveled as they followed the beast. All right. And so this is when the Antichrist, um, the beast, um, is, is mortally wounded, right? In front of all of the world, basically, for all the world to see. And so, you know, it says that they marveled 
as they follow the beast because why he 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 was healed this miraculous miracle occurs right because God allows his power to be in the earth and and to be in the prophet and the beast um to where these miracles right they can perform miracles and so they are rulers during this time so they are going to have this this crazy ability to to be healed right and so here um it says the whole earth marveled as they followed the beast right and so these are the sons of satan right these are the the world right the sons of the world they are not the seed they are not the chosen they are not the elect right these are the ones that chose to look at the beast and follow him they chose to marvel um if you look up that word it's like admired and backed right the beast and so these are those that chose to to be the esau's of the world they chose the world right they chose um what they could see with their eyes and 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 they chose that lack of relationship they chose to look at the blood Right. And and just like they saw the blood and saw how he was healed. And just like the Pharisees are always looking at the blood and calling out Moses name because they are under um, uh, they are in blood relationship to Moses. Right. It, it's not about that blood. Right. It's about the blood of Christ. We need to we need to realize that, you know, you might be able to see something with your eyes, but that's not faith. Right. Faith is believing when you don't see faith is is putting your hope and your trust in God, regardless of of what you think you see with your eyes. Right. So that's that's going to be, you know, what people are going to have to do during that time, during the time of the tribulation. They might see something with their eyes that might cause their flesh to want to marvel. But don't back the beast. Don't follow after the beast, right? We are descendants of Abraham. We are the seed of the promise. We are children of the promise, right? Not not just by blood. We don't just go by what we see. We walk by faith. Right. Um, not just of an outward circumcision. We are of inward change. Right. And so when they saw this, this happening on the outside, many people marvel and they follow the beast. If you look at look up that word um, there, it's like they 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 followed him. And then I kept thinking Facebook, they followed him. No, but they they were enamored with him. They backed him. They followed him. They went after him. Right. And so they saw these miracles and they put their trust in the beast. Right. And that and they thought that that could save them. They thought that he would he would somehow be their savior, but he was not. Right. And so he will not be. And, you know, the word of God has not failed just because the beast has power. No, any authority that was given to him was given by God for an appointed time. Right. And so, you know, when he was wounded, you know, it, it, it and he came back from that. He's doing nothing but trying to um, trying to to Satan is trying to make a situation of a counterfeit. Um, Christ right and so we know that no one no one could be the Christ why because the Christ was innocent he was perfect in every way and he died for our sins right and and, and we come under his covering right and we are his children we are the children of the promise nobody can take that away amen and and it's not by blood it's not by by what we can see but it's what by what we can't see what we put our hope in our trust in which is God right he stands with us he's our advocate he's our mediator he is the keeper of the new covenant amen all right, you guys, let's pray. Thank you, Father God, for this word. Thank you for the love that you have shown us in giving us your son. Thank you for letting him stand with us. Even while we were yet sinners, he died for us. And we say, thank you, Father God. Let us be those chosen 
children of promise, Lord God, help us to walk with you and stay in keeping with you, Lord God, and not of this world. Help us not to be impressed by what we see of this world, Lord God. Let us not follow it. Let us not back it. Let us not admire it or marvel after it, Lord God. Help us to put our hope in you, God, and our trust in you and what we don't see. Help us to have faith in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. All right, you guys take care and be blessed.